Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate it. <clears throat> so Zena and I are here at the uh, Norwestern Mountains, uh, the uh, trailhead. So we're going to go hike up into the <clears throat> Norwestern Mountains. Usually I want to go to a specific area, but here there's so many forks in the trails. So we're just going to go wherever we feel like, wherever it takes us, and then uh, go from there and spend the whole day out here. But not sure. It looks like it, it might rain. <laughs> but that's okay. I brought my raincoat. So anyways... Stick around. first hike of 2021 and finally out on the trail it is uh may 11th i don't know it's around may 11th i'm sure but yeah this is our first hike uh right now this is all we can do it's a day hike we're up in the north going up in the northwestern mountains and uh, kind of explore the area we're gonna spend all day hiking out here about eight hours maybe and uh but yeah we can't no camping right now right now uh Ontario is in some pretty uh, strict lockdown and you can't camp anywhere. Uh, no Crown Land camping, no Provincial Park. You can't go out to Sleeping Giant camp there. You can go out for day hikes out there, but that's just, that's it. Oh, I'm going a little stir crazy that I can't go camping right now. At least we're, right now we're getting out there on the trails. and Hopefully this restrict, these restrictions lift soon so we can uh, get some serious camping in. But my friend Kevin has... Uh, it's uh, 80 acres of property outside of town. Uh, it's just all land. He says I can go camp out there. So I might uh, go do a night or two out there so, uh, c coming up soon. At least be out there and do some kind of camping. That's a beautiful area too. And it's way out in the, in the country. So like I said, I don't have a real plan of where I'm gonna hike out here. There's so many forks in the trail and I'm just gonna go, you know, just every time I come to a fork, just make a decision which way to go but i think i'm going to try to see if i can make it up onto this mountain i think that's rabbit mountain but if i get up there hey great if not i might end up on another mountain or not on a mountain at all who knows we'll see and there's lost mountain that's the mountain i usually go up when we do hike out here it's the only mountain i've ever gone up out here so i want to go somewhere to up a different mountain okay Zena, let's go Dirty paws, dirty paws. Well, here's one of those forks in the road. I can go that way or that way. Well, if I want to get up to that mountain, I should go that way. I think the last time we came out here, we were going to go in this direction, but she wanted to go down this trail. Now, a trail, I don't know. I think that's when we go up Lost Mountain and we come out that way. We've been up Lost Mountain many times. So we don't want to go that way. Come on, Zena, let's go. Take this way, because again, you can see 
that mountain. That's the nice thing about uh, the spring here. I've only been out here in the summer and with all the leaves on the trees, you can't see the mountains. Here I can see it so I can get a better idea of maybe getting up on that mountain. Uh, it's been drizzling a bit. Got a few raindrops. I don't think it's going to get much of a rain though if it does. <clears throat> I was originally calling for thunder sh showers and then uh, I checked again and decided last minute to come out here and yeah, that was supposed to be just uh, partly cloudy all day. Not even supposed to rain, but I think it might rain. So far I'm on the same path that I, take, that I take to get to Lost Mountain. Now I think when I go up Lost Mountain, I believe I go up that way. Now we got another fork here. But now this time I'm going this way. I should take me up, probably up along behind at the back of Rabbit Mountain. That's Lost Mountain there. I think we're gonna stop for a break soon, grab a little bite to eat, get some water for her, something to drink for me. So I got a little rant. Uh, so to, to get here for this hike, I biked here with her in her trailer, passing by some houses along the way. And this woman standing in her doorway says, so you got a lazy dog. I really rude like the way she said it. It's like, my dog's not lazy. She said, yeah, your dog's lazy. You know what? Mind your business. <laughs> you don't know what we're doing. Like for all they know, she can't walk maybe. I mean, we're coming out here. This is not lazy. We took the bike to get here, and we're hiking through all this forest for I don't know how many kilometers we're hiking. And the rain's coming down pretty good. Uh, it's looking nasty. I think I might decide to call it. Uh, but still, like uh, this, this, that really makes me, that makes me mad. If somebody did that before. Like you don't know. Like just mind your business, okay? I mean, she gets lots of exercise, lots and lots. Uh, the vet says how she's very healthy and uh, very she's perfect weight for uh, for her size, perfect size. Yeah, but, yeah. Your dog's lazy. If they only knew, <laughs> like how lazy. Yeah. See, is, is, you guys seen videos of her? Is she lazy? No. She can be at home sometimes. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna I'm just gonna grab something to eat here. Just see how this weather holds up and might continue on. So yeah, I decided we were gonna continue on. Yeah, it's uh, the rain just kind of comes and goes. It's not a real heavy rain, so uh, it's kind of nice actually. I was getting pretty hot on the bike ride up to get here, just sweating and everything. So when the rain did come, it felt really nice. I didn't even bother putting on my raincoat. But I had, and if it gets really heavy rain, I got the raincoat. Man, it's pretty messy in here. She's trying to figure out how to... She doesn't like to walk through water. She has no problem playing in the lake. messy but
I'm so glad I didn't give up back there when I took that break. Sorry, camera's a little shaky. And the rain stopped. And then just after I break and walk a little bit and we're here. This has been by far, like every time I hike out here at the Norwestern Mountains, this by far is like the best. We're so deep back and it gets so much more quieter. Near the beginning there, you can kind of hear sounds of the city and stuff, like very faintly, but it's there. Here it's just like so much more remote. It's so, so peaceful. Just, just listen to that. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Definitely glad. I, I almost didn't do this today. Because they were calling for thunderstorms in the afternoon. And I was keeping an eye on the weather. And it was a beautiful morning. And when I decided not to. And looking at the weather again. And the hourly re weather report. And then they're saying there's no, it's supposed to be partly cloudy. And mainly sunny. And it's like, yeah, I'll do, I'm doing it. Glad I did. It's fantastic. Okay, let's go see. I assume you, like the trail will go through through there, and then out. Probably goes back around the other side there, and up back behind there, and up on top, and then you go all along the top there. And probably, I'm not sure. It may loop around, come back, and then we come back this way. But man, I wonder if there's a place. I got, I'm not sure. Is this Crown Land or uh, I think this is part of First Nation? But I would love to set up a camp out here. Just be an amazing spot to camp. I haven't done a video for a while. Um, it's some sad news. Uh, my mother passed away about, a, four, about three or four weeks ago. Uh, about, yeah, about a month ago. Um, yeah, it's, uh, but she, she was uh, almost 88. She would have been 88 at the end of this month. And, uh, but she had a, had a good long life. And uh, yeah, I think I knew it was coming for a long time. Still was a, still was a shock. But uh, I got to be with her. It's, uh, I hadn't seen her since before COVID started because she was in a nursing home. And uh, you can only have, uh, because of COVID, couldn't, uh, I couldn't go see her. And uh, just there was only one person that could go see her, my sister. And, uh, but once she, once she was passing away, we got to see her and get to say goodbyes. But yeah, but sorry to put a damper on the video, but. But she had a, had a good long life, though. So, the uh, sun's starting to come out again. Yeah, the clouds went over it again, but it's, you know, it's kind of comes and goes. But, uh, yeah, this trail's going the way I figured it would. It, it kind of is coming around. It's not, we're on the other side of that lake now. So, now we're probably going to be heading up that rabbit mountain any moment now. Mm. Sure we're going to make it to Rabbit Mountain because uh, Rabbit Mountain is like, way back that way. This trail is still to continue way back, 
Maybe it does, I don't know. I didn't see any other trails that would lead that way. So I don't know if we're gonna end up on Rabbit Mountain or any mountain for that matter. We might, who knows. But that's the whole reason why we're out here, just to explore. Okay, here we go, we got a fork in the road. These trails were like marked, markered. Well, they are, they are markered with like just ribbons, but uh, some kind of signage and like names say where they go. Uh, yeah, because right now I'm kind of lost. <laughs> I don't think we're going to make it up a mountain. We end up turning around at some point. See how this goes. We might end up turning around at some point going the way we came. It's, uh, Keep going too long. I have to keep watch the time because I don't want to still be stuck out here when it's dark. Should have brought my headlamp just in case. But I don't have that. I do have the light on my phone. Oh, this is too much of a mess to get through. It's not too bad here, but over there, like, look at that. It's just all flooded. Yes, I don't think we get through that. I think maybe I just turn around. It's been a nice hike. I'm not gonna work at trying to get up to that mountain. That was a big, quite a long hike. We've been out here for a couple of hours already. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna find a nice spot to, actually maybe at that lake, back at that lake. I'm gonna go back the way we came, maybe make some lunch at that lake and uh, be a nice spot to have some lunch. I got some Mr. Noodles I brought along. Time for a little break, eh? No, you not. Oh, porcupine. It's a big guy, too. I don't know, can you see him? There he is. Can I see him? There. Okay. You don't want to mess with him, Xena. So, yeah, we're heading back the way we came. Uh, kind of disappointed to make it up on top of a mountain with some spectacular views, but you know what? This has been a great hike, I must say. We've been out here five hours already. Um, or no, about four hours, yeah. It's gonna take us another four hours to hike out. Uh, yeah, and uh, it's about an hour bike ride to get home. So we should make it before dark. Okay, let's go. I think uh, next week, I'll probably try this again. The problem with today is I ended up getting a late start. I didn't leave till noon. Is it noon? Yeah, no, 11 a.m. when we headed out. And uh, yeah, so I think next week we'll uh, head out really early, like seven in the morning, seven, eight in the morning. Gives us more time out here and we can really explore this trail. We'll come this, this same way and we'll keep going. Hopefully that spot there is a little bit more cleared up, dry, a little more dried up and be able to get through it. I didn't really explore to see if I can get through it, but it doesn't look like it from what I can see. So just a quick little update. Uh, it's actually the next day after this hike we're on. I'm not going to go on this hike again next week. We got home and I uh, picked off around 14 ticks off of Xena and four off of me. Uh, I don't want to go out there again with all the ticks. Uh, that's one thing I like about Sleeping Giant. There's no ticks out there. So I'm gonna just try to find some other areas to go where there won't be any ticks. Okay, I think that's gonna be the end of this video. Uh, we're gonna hike out. Uh, we'll probably make uh, some Mr. Noodles here in a bit at that lake. So uh, yeah, you know the drill. Uh, if you like this video, please give a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Hit the bell notification so you know every time I drop a new video. All right, thanks for watching guys. I really appreciate your support. See you next time. Bye. Bowie stick. Hey. Hey. Kiss.
guys still here? <laughs> Bye.